I'm David Strange, and today we're going to take a look at the Adams League baseball-themed playing cards made exclusively by the S.S. Adams Company out of Osbury Park, New Jersey in 1914. Now, that's pretty old. Now, I don't know if these cards were made exclusively in 1914 or if they were produced a couple years afterwards. I wasn't able to find that information. What I do know is that these are 100 years old at least, and the box is in really good shape for being 100 years old, give or take. And there is a st remains of a sticker or a, a stamp that either was an actual stamp or just looked like a stamp that used to keep it sealed and of course has the illustration of the cards on the back. Now there were four different type of deck boxes for the Adams League playing cards. One was this one. The other box had the Adams League name with a dark background, a different picture of the fielder but no company name. There was a third box with the fielder on a white background and the name included as well as showing the location of Allsbury Park in New Jersey and then finally a fourth box has red ink instead of black. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the cards themselves. Now the cards themselves were copyrighted in 1914 by Mr. Theodore L. Deland of Philadelphia and it seems to be that these were definitely made for the magician. And I'll tell you why in just a second, but I want to take a look at the art. Here we have the Joker. Now, these card decks were all 53 card decks, with the 53rd card being the Joker. And the art on this is great. I mean, you've got the classic magic devil supernaturally fanning cards on this really great swirling background. What a, what a really neat card. And I'm so lucky to have gotten this deck. All right, and here we have the Ace of Spades with the baseball design in the middle of the Ace of Spades. And let's just quick thumb through these cards, and you can see some of the general inconsistencies of the time. You see how the two is there, but then you look down here, and you see how much thinner it is. And you see this in all the cards when you thumb through them. And here's the court cards for the spades. We'll just kind of show these real quick, just so everybody can kind of get a nice look at this deck. And overall, I'm real happy with this. This deck is in such great shape. Probably used a handful of times and that's it. And I really like the idea of things like old coins and old playing cards because you don't know who, who touched these cards, where they'd been. It's, it's really fascinating to think about. All right, now let's take a look at why these cards were made for magicians. And it's very simple. There's a code on the back of the card. And it doesn't matter which way someone holds the card because you can still read the code. There's a circle of dots with a cross of dots inside. This dot right here at the 3 o'clock position is going to be for clubs. This one at the 6 o'clock position is for hearts. This one at the 6 o'clock position is for spades. And this one at the 12 o'clock position is going to be for diamonds. So clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. And it doesn't matter if it's upside down because clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds still reads the same. Now, how do you tell what the card itself is once you know the suit? Well, again, we have another clock face right here. And I'm going to get some extra help here. I'm going to flip this over. From the Ace of Spades, here we go at the 12 o'clock position, and then at 1 o'clock, remember we're going to count, we'll count Aces 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 for Jack, 12 for Queen, and the center of the cross, 13 for the King. So, Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, and king. And here you see the king. The center dot is larger than the others. And then this one at the six o'clock position, the heart position, is larger than the others. And we have the king of hearts. And that's how this deck tells you what card is what. Let's see. So we have 
12 o'clock position diamond so it should be a diamond and it should be did I cut to the king of diamonds I did cut to the king of diamonds it's that easy here we go this is the queen of diamonds and we're gonna cut down a little bit matter of fact we'll cut way down here and see so let's see clubs hearts spades. so we go clubs hearts spades okay so it's a spade and we go one two three four five six seven eight is the eight of spades and that is how you read the back of the Adams League Magicians baseball card deck. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mr. David Strange, and I hope you enjoyed this look at our Adams League playing cards for magicians. Teleport another dimension. Another dimension. Another dimension. Teleport.